back to my channel. It's your girl Mahogany. You already know what to do. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on that not post notification bell, so you're notified every single time I drop another video. Welcome back, y'all. Hope y'all are doing good. Hope y'all are feeling good. Hope life is going good for you guys. I am back, 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 back with another cook with me, y'all. And I am so excited to get into this meal. It's gonna be like fire. Like it's gonna be giving mm, a vibe, okay? Very much a vibe. Y'all, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Mahogany J underscore follow me because I be posting like my food and everything's like on there. I also be posting like you know pictures of me looking all glammed up and everything like that. So I'll um, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram as well. And then I also am on TikTok. Okay, so make sure you follow me on TikTok. I be posting my reels. I be posting like my videos. Like it's a whole vibe over there too. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube. Then go to my Instagram and go to my TikTok because like I be seeing y'all in the comments and like you are like my best friend in my head and if we're really bffs that means you got to be locked in and so make sure you guys are locked in all across my different platforms okay so i'm starting this cook with me off a little different or something and i'm very very much excited i already got my food out usually i'll be like unpacking the groceries and everything but i said let's get to it okay we don't even need we don't even got time to be unpacking groceries so we just gonna get right into the food okay i told you guys to make sure you comment down below what you want me to cook next um on my channel when i do my cooking means i be cooking like stuff that you can cook fast stuff that cooks slow stuff that's more instant like i do like a variety of different kind of meals okay so this one um is more on the homemade like you know, it's a process to make, but it's going to be fire and at the end result type of meal, okay? Um, I wouldn't put this on like the, it's kind of, it is pretty quick and easy, but it's not like, y'all know sometimes I be having food that's like already prepared, you don't really gotta do much work and I be giving y'all those recipes. This is more on the, if we had like a scale from like least, medium, extra hard or like hard this would be in the medium as far as like the ingredients that's required how long it takes how much love you gotta put into it and all that so this is like a medium type recipe but listen um i wanted to come to you y'all i wanted to come to you guys with this recipe because this is one of my favorites and it smells so good we're gonna go ahead and get into it uh, i'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands um again i already washed them one time but y'all saw i had like a little scratch right here so i need to go wash my hands again um and then i'm gonna come right back and then we're just gonna go on and get into it you hear me brb all right y'all so i am back hands are washed and we're gonna go ahead and and get into it. I'm not gonna tell you guys exactly what I'm cooking yet. I want y'all to follow along the process, you hear me? So I'm gonna go ahead and get out um, a pot for my noodles. Alrighty y'all, so I am back. Let me move this cutting board out the way. Like it is definitely giving in the way, okay? Um, so I am back. I filled up this pot here with some water. Got my salt here, y'all. So I'm pretty much prepping my noodles at this point um, because this meal does require your noodles. I always say salt to taste um, or yeah, salt to taste. I don't need to taste mine because I know how much works for me, but definitely salt to taste. I don't be measuring salt when it comes to my noodles. Got me a stick of butter, boom, just like that. Go ahead and just put this on the stove right behind me. I'm gonna put it on a, one of my big burners and I'm gonna put it on high. All right, so that's already doing what it needs to do. So I got that cooking, and now I am going to go ahead and clean my salmon off and then start seasoning that so that we can put that in the air fryer. All right, y'all, so my salmon is clean, and I'm pretty much gonna go ahead and season it. Y'all, if you know me, if you watch my cook with me, you know I do not be playing when it comes to the seasoning. I feel like I'm an over seasoner, but not in a way that like it affects the food, I guess. Like I season a lot, but it be turning out so good. So I'm getting ready to start seasoning this salmon. I'm gonna start with um, some Parmesan because it's gonna really like add to what I'm cooking. Then I'm gonna go in with some smokehouse maple seasoning. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Then I'm gonna go in with some garlic powder. Can't take my rings off too, y'all, because we ain't about to be 
touching meat and doing all that rings on, okay? Then I'm gonna go in with some Montreal chicken seasoning. Now, you might be thinking, oh, well, that's chicken seasoning. Oh my gosh, it's fire on any other, um, any other, what is it called? Piece of meat. Of course, some ground pepper. All right. Some Italian seasoning from Walmart, okay? Because that's our business. All right, and then we're gonna go in with this. I love this multi-purpose seasoning. I'll really be using it for my meat, but it also works on um, seafood. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna use this mini spatula right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and flip the meat. I personally don't like touching um, meat while I'm seasoning it. That's just me. Sometimes I will, sometimes I won't. Um, but you know, I really prefer not to, even though I already cleaned it and all of that, I just prefer to, um, just use a tool since it's still raw. I just go on and flip it. Come on meat, like stop acting funny. Y'all look at this. There we go. Then I'm going to put this tool right here and we're going to literally apply all the same seasonings. Uh, again, we're just going to kind of do them backwards. So I'm going to start with this one and then go back to the beginning of my list. Yeah. Now that I'm done seasoning my meat, um, I checked on the water and the water for the noodles is boiling. So I'm gonna go ahead and open these fettuccine noodles right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and drop them in the pot. I didn't be making a mess. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. I'm gonna put my seasonings up because I no longer need them. We're gonna go ahead and preheat our air fryer. So, excuse my air fryer, y'all, it's a little messy. But um, we're gonna go ahead and preheat it to, do, 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 do. It's already on power start menu, 400. Oh, now I'm putting it on roast, y'all. I need to put it on air fry. So let me take it back to air fry. All right, so it's on air fry for 400 for not 20 minutes. I do about, six minutes on each side. So it's preheating right now. And then once it finishes preheating, it will um, cook. I'll cook the salmon for six minutes on one side and then I'll flip it over and cook it on for six minutes um, on the other side. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna go ahead and take this salmon. I be saying salmon, salmon. I think it's pronounced salmon though. I don't know how certain it is, but I'll say salmon. I'll say whatever I wanna say, okay? Y'all should know about me. I ain't worried about nobody or nothing. I'm gonna be me, and if I wanna say salmon, I'll say salmon. If I wanna say salmon, I'll say salmon. If I wanna say whatever, that's what it's gonna be. Nonetheless, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start making our homemade Alfredo sauce. Mmm, yum. Um, if you guys wanna know what I'm cooking, I'll let you know now. Come in a little closer. So, we are going to be cooking um, salmon Alfredo. Ooh, one of my favorites. And one of my husband's favorites is almost it's honestly a favorite of my entire house um so this is going to be salmon alfredo with spinach um which is really really good sometimes i make just alfredo but i really love adding that spinach to it to me it just makes it more health it like makes it healthier um and then it just adds like taste to it with that spinach I'm gonna like drop some tomatoes in it too. Like it's gonna be good. It's one of the recipes that I love y'all. As you guys know, I've shared with you before um, that I am going to be coming out with my own cookware line because cooking is something that I really, really love to do. It's not gonna be something that's gonna be coming out tomorrow or even next month, but it's one dream and goal of mine, y'all, is to have my own cookware line as well as my own cookbook because I really, really love to cook. It's a passion of mine. That's one reason that I do so many cook with me because it's like a passion that like been with me since I don't know how long probably since I was a child if you ask my mom okay um but I share all that to say um I make my food the way I like to make it like it's unique some things you've never even heard of some combinations you've never even heard of but it's unique to me and I've cooked it for people and they love it so I just really love to just be unique so some of you might be like well I ain't never had Alfredo with spinach in it I've had this with spinach in it, but not that, you know, but adding spinach to your Alfredo to me is really, really, really good. 
Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue to get into this recipe. Just wanna throw that disclaimer in here. I'm actually gonna go ahead and light this candle too, y'all. I have this candle that's sitting right here. The name of this candle is Pumpkin Cheesecake Cookies and it smells so, so good. And so I'm gonna actually go ahead and light it just to add to the aroma of the room, BRB. But comment down below if you guys like your um, Alfredo to have like different things in it, whether it's different kind of meats or whether it's like different um, like ingredients. Let me know um, how you guys like y'all's Alfredo. Mm, this smells so, so good. All right, y'all, so while I was actually putting the stuff back for um, the candle, my lighter and everything, the air fryer finished preheating, so I'm gonna take this meat and drop it in the air fryer. Here's our meat. Pick it up. Drop it in the air fryer. Let it cook for about 15 minutes. Now that I did that, I'm gonna put this over here. And I'm gonna start cleaning up a little bit because I am a firm believer believer of cleaning up as you go. All right, y'all, so hopefully you can hear me because the fan did decide to turn on um, over top of the stove, so it's like sounding all loud and stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and get out the pan that I'm gonna be making the homemade uh, from scratch Alfredo sauce. So let me get to that now. Alrighty, so I'm going to be using um, this pan here. I love using this pan for like homemade sauces. As you can see, it's kind of deep or whatnot. And then it also has a lid, which is perfect to let that um, see, let that, uh, what is it called? Yeah, to let that Alfredo sauce like bubble and everything like it needs to. All right, so um, what I'm trying to debate y'all if I'm gonna add like tomatoes and onion to this. I think I am, but mm, I don't think I am gonna do it this time. Sometimes I do add like onion and tomato to it but i don't think i'm going to do that this time if you do want to add like extra things in it like garlic um tomato onion what you would do is you would go ahead and put your butter in and then you would chop those things up and go ahead and saute it and then you would follow up with the steps that i'm getting ready to do now but since i am not going to be doing that this time what i'm going to do is use my knife and put some butter in this pan like this a good amount of butter can y'all see that a good amount of butter like that then i am going to go over and take you guys to the stove where we are going to go ahead and let this um melt down and then we're going to go in with our heavy creams then we're going to let that boil up and then we're going to add our spinach um and different things like that so i'm gonna walk you guys through it because sometimes when i like just verbally tell you it uh, without like making it in a moment, I might forget a step or something. So I want you guys to come on over so that you can see exactly what I do and how I do it and what order I do it in. Okay, let's go. All right, y'all. So hopefully you can hear me. As I said, this fan is going and it's getting on my nerves, but I have this on high, as you can see here, and the butter has definitely cooked down, uh, well, melted down. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and add our spinach. So I have some public spinach right here that I'm gonna add. I'm gonna do about half of the bag. Our noodles are also over here coming together really, really well. So I have that spinach in here and then I'm just gonna go ahead and like mix it around like this. Basically, I just want it to kind of cook down. I'm gonna add a little bit more butter because as you see, it's not much in the pan anymore. It's still buttery, but I wanna add a little bit more. But the spinach is definitely starting to cook down. As y'all see, it's like shrinking. Thank the Lord, the fan turned off. So now y'all can. But the spinach is cooking down. Like I said, I'm gonna add a little bit more butter. This much, drop that in there like that. But as you guys can already see, this butter, um, this spinach cooked down perfectly, perfectly. So next we're going to go ahead and add our heavy cream. Here is the heavy cream here. Um, it's heavy whipping cream. Shake it up. You only need one of these, so one pint for this recipe. We're gonna pour the whole thing in here. All 
like that. What I do is now I go ahead and add about a half of like a little thing of Parmesan. So I'm gonna show y'all what I mean. I have this Parmesan here. It's just grated Parmesan. And I'm gonna add about a good amount. See, this thing isn't like filled to the top, but I'm at least going to, let me open it. Ooh. At least add about uh, either like one third or half of this to that to go ahead and start the Alfredo, excuse me, um, making process. This is how much is in here, and I'm gonna add like this much. So y'all see how much is left? We're kind of like right here. So that's how much I add, a little bit more. And what this does is this thickens the heavy cream so that you can start getting that Alfredo consistency. I'm gonna put the lid on top of this so that it can start to like boil up and I'm gonna make sure that I turn it on high. And basically what you want it to do is you want this heavy cream to start like boiling up, like boiling like it's about to overflow. Um, that's when you know that it's ready for the next step. So this is what I mean by starting to boil up. Y'all see that? So I just want it to happen all over and that's when I know it's ready. All right, y'all, so look at this. Y'all see how big that is? This is exactly what I wanted it to do. That lets me know that it is ready for the next step. So we're gonna go ahead and stir this up like that and turn it down. So as you guys know, I had it on high for it to boil up like that. And so now I have turned it down to I have like it on three on my stove and I have a gas stove. Um, and I feel like gas stoves are like hotter. So maybe you could do like a two if you don't have a gas stove and you have electric. Um, but the sauce looks really, really good. It's a really nice consistency so far. It's definitely starting to thick up. Now I'm gonna go in with my shredded Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna show you guys which one I'm talking about. So it's this one right here, um, shredded Parmesan. I'm gonna go ahead and add that to it. And this right here is really gonna give it the consistency that I'm looking for. As y'all know, I'm not measuring a thing. I'm just dropping it, just dropping it on in there. But this is finely shredded. I really feel like you can do as much as you want so that it can get the consistency that you're looking for. So if you really look, you should be able to tell that this has sticking up a lot just by me adding that other cheese y'all see that like it's moving different now it's way way thicker and so this is what gives you that thick consistency like alfredo sauce it's not even moving as loose as it was before it's super thick now and this is exactly what we wanted that good alfredo sauce consistency you guys know that I seasoned the salmon, the salmon, um, and that is also done too. Here it is, ta-da! Look at that salmon, looking all good. But I'm also going to go ahead and season the uh, sauce right here. So y'all, I'm gonna season the sauce with pretty much everything I seasoned um, the salmon with. Gotta get all these things out. Only thing I'm not gonna use is that all-purpose seasoning. I really use that on like raw meat. I don't really put that on um, stuff that ain't raw. So we're gonna still go in, go in with that smokehouse maple. Y'all probably like smokehouse maple sauce for Alfredo, child. It's gonna be good though. Trust me, if y'all get what I say get and you do what I do, y'all gonna be like, girl. Also going to use my garlic. This Montreal chicken seasoning this black ground pepper, and the Italian seasoning. And then once we have done that, we're just gonna go ahead and stir this on up. It's looking really, really good, y'all. Mm, 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 mm. Stir it on up. We're gonna drain our noodles right over there. And again, as we know, that was one pound of noodles. We're gonna drain that and then add our noodles to this pasta sauce. All right, y'all, so I have drained these noodles and I'm going to pour them into this sauce like that. 
got a little piece still left in the pot and y'all know we leaves nothing you hear me we leaves nothing honey we leaves nothing all right so now that that's in there i'm going to go ahead and just put this pot to the side and i'm going to use this and just stir this up make sure that this is getting all in there make sure that sauce is getting all within these noodles i'm actually going to use this tool i'll be calling myself tools y'all but it's not really i mean it is a tool to help you cook but i'm gonna use this utensil for a better choice of words how about that and we then gonna turn this thing all the way down to low because we don't want um, all of our sauce from uh, Alfredo to kind of get like, not ate up, what's the term? Like if we leave it running, leave it on like high or medium, eventually your sauce will start evaporating and you'll really just be left with like some noodles with a little bit of coating on it. But we wanna make sure that this remains nice and creamy. So that's why I turned it down to low. I'm gonna take this sauce and just kinda scoop it and pour. Scoop it and pour. Scoop it and pour. All right. Just like. Then we're gonna go ahead and take our salmon, which is right here, and we're just gonna lay it on top like that. We're gonna get us some parsley. Got me some parsley here. Take this home, homemade, take this parsley. I'm gonna like rip it and just sprinkle it on here. What not? Got it looking real good or something. Here's what we got so far. Looking so, so good, y'all. I mean, get into it. Yes, ma'am. Now I'm gonna turn it completely off. Turn my, I turned the uh, eye that this was sitting on completely off. I'm gonna take some of this sauce from under here and I'm just gonna put it on top of the salmon like that. Mm-hmm, like that, like that. Then I'm gonna take the lid and put it over top of the meal and I'm gonna pick it up and move it off the burner and she is ready to be plated and served. All right, you guys, but as I clean up the kitchen, um, I want to let you know, y'all, that is how I cook my salmon alfredo with spinach meal it is going to be so so good i cannot wait to plate it um and eat it because it's going to be so good i'm going to put this butter up and throw away this heavy cream put this one in the refrigerator put the dishes up and stuff like that so guys this is the meal it turned out so 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 good and it was so so delicious y'all already know what to do make sure you comment down below for what cook with me you want me to do next what do you guys want me to cook i'm all for it make sure you guys subscribe to my channel turn on that post notification bell so you're notified every single time i drop another video guys i love you so much follow me on instagram and on tiktok and i'll see you in the next cook with me bye